Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel for part number 17 of the Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge and today is actually a snow day because Ocean View did get quite a bit of snowfall last night. It is actually still snowing right now as we speak and so that means that we don't have to worry about either of the teens having to go to school today which is pretty awesome because I think this is the first time in this entire Let's Play that we haven't had to worry about them going to school on a day that they were originally supposed to go to school. So that is like a huge weight off of my shoulders right now and I'm sure on Autumn and Ricky's shoulders as well because Ricky is getting a little bit behind on his homework right now. He's out working on it right now and Autumn is just kind of waking up for the day. She's getting the house kind of situated and cleaned up and everything and I was kind of hoping to actually have Ricky's birthday in this part. So even though he's trying to work on his homework right now to get it kind of done and get caught up and everything, we don't really have to worry about it because he's going to be aging up in this part and he wouldn't actually be aging up for another like four days but I feel like we're in part 17. I feel like somebody should be an adult by this point like a young adult if it was autumn or if it was ricky just one of them should be a young adult by now so yeah he's gonna be aging up into a young adult today which is exciting so we're gonna get autumn to come over here eat some leftover strawberry pancakes and after ricky gets done with his homework he can come over and eat some leftover pancakes as well so yeah in the last part we kind of oh no those are burnt i completely forgot that they were burnt but they're going to get eaten regardless. <laughs> We're not going to be wasting any food in this house. But yeah, in the last part, we had Ricky and Autumn kind of go out on a one-on-one -on -one date together. They spent some nice quality time together. And they did the woohoo. Like, they went over to this old farmhouse that's kind of outside of town. They went there to kind of be alone and be away from people. And they did the woohoo. And it was risky woohoo. So I don't actually know if Autumn is pregnant right now or if she's not but if she is then we will definitely be we will be figuring it out pretty soon but for right now we're just gonna be kind of playing through the day getting everybody all situated for the day so Ezra right now she is currently snoozing her life away on this snowy day like oh my gosh this place is so pretty with snow like I'm fairly certain that the person who designed this world had it in mind as like a tropical kind of world and not really snowing but I personally think it looks really nice in the snow so yeah, <laughs> but we're going to bring Autumn over here to kind of brush her teeth and yeah, just kind of do that. How is Rue doing? She really, really, really needs some TLC right now. So we're going to get her to come over and eat from the food bowl. She wants to run around. Okay, so one thing that I think would be pretty cool to do today since it is snowing is have Ricky and Autumn go outside and like build some snowmen, maybe have a bit of a snowball fight or something. I think that would be super cute because I never really do that in the first place. I never have them go outside and just make snowmen just to be making them. I don't have them do like snowball fights or anything like that, but... To be perfectly honest, I don't even know if our backyard is big enough to have a snowball fight, but we will have to, we will just have to wait and see. So, um, all right. So she just finished with brushing her teeth. I think we're going to have her come in and kind of wake up Ezra because it is getting to be around like 10 o'clock. I feel like she should be awake by now. So we're going to have her come in and hold Ezra and get her changed into her, into her everyday wear so that she can look all nice and pretty. And yeah, then I think we should have them go outside and build a snowman. <laughs> do you want to build a snowman? Yes, I actually really do want to build a snowman. It is snowing right now where I live, to be honest. <laughs> like, so I kind, I kind of feel the hype that they might be feeling right now. So yeah, it's currently snowing where I live. At least it was like an hour ago. We're supposed to be getting like a lot of snow where I live. So that is exciting. And yeah, I'm just... I really want to go outside and build a snowman myself. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's have you go ahead and put Ezra into the high chair. So if you have snow where you live or if you get snow where you live, what's your favorite thing to do in the snow? Because I personally like building snowmen and making snow angels. That's just my favorite thing to do. So what is your favorite thing to do? And if you have, if you live in a place where you don't get snow, where would you like to visit that gets snow? So yeah, tell me that. 
Tell me that down in the comments down below. <laughs> All right, let's have you give her some baby food so that she's not just sitting in there doing absolutely nothing. And let's see here. I think you need to spend a little bit of time with Rue as well. We need to find a puppy. Like, we really, really do. At this point, I don't even know if we're going to be able to have Rue have puppies because she's going to be aging up into an elder in like seven days. And I don't even know if that would be enough time to build up a relationship with another dog and have puppies and go through the entire like labor process or whatever. So I don't know. I really don't know. At this point, I would be fine with just getting another dog in general so that we have one. But this place is, like, so small, though. Like, I mean, it's not small, I guess. It's a lot bigger than what we've had. But it is small in comparison to what we could have, I guess. So let's have you come over and pick her up because she is done with her food. We're just going to set her down, let her do kind of whatever she wants to up here. Let's have you also care. Let's have you brush her. And then I think we will be good to go. And she wants to visit the beach. Of course she does. She wants to run around, so maybe we'll have her do that. Let's have you put her over here into her room so that she can play with some of her toys. And then let's have you... Um, let's have you go ahead and change into your everyday wear. There we go. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a nice chill day today because I don't even think either of them has to go to work either today. Well, it's not like it would really matter for him because yeah, he has like not a good performance. I don't even think. True story. I don't even think he's gone to an actual first day of his work in this. Uh, in this movie theater thing that he was doing. <laughs> I really don't think he has, but on the plus on the plus side, her performance didn't really go down that much. So that's really good. So, yeah, we won't really have too much to make up as far as that goes, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what else to say as far as as far as that goes. It's not really as terrible as I thought it was going to be, but let's have them come down here. We're going to make a snowman with Ricky, and hopefully there's enough room Okay, so she was going to do something. She wants to look out the window. Let's have you just continue chewing on your little newspaper thing over here. And then Ezra, my dear child, you can come over and, I guess, play on the little xylophone. That should be fine. Uh, she doesn't really need to go to the bathroom. She doesn't really need her diaper changed or anything. So she is all good in the hood. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, I keep forgetting that we have to do... Well, we have to get our laundry. Like, I don't think we've gotten our laundry from down in the little laundry room since we did it in the last part. I think it just kind of got left there. So let me see. I think it would have been this one or this one. Yeah, we need to get our clean laundry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, no. <laughs> Are you joking me? She's feeling nauseous because of unknown causes, quote unquote. Oh my god. If she turns out to be pregnant again, you guys, I don't actually know what I'm gonna do. Come on, guys. Make a snowman with Ricky. Like, you have enough room. I know you do. And I know that there's enough snow. Oh my god. I'm kind of freaking out right now because we did Risky Woohoo. And if it worked again, I'm going to- I, I might just cry. I might just cry because we do not have the room for a kid. We do not have the room for another kid in this house, but she might be pregnant. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is so nice. He's, like, so excited, too. Oh, my gosh. All right, I have to take all the pictures, of course. He's just, like, so excited. Like, yeah, you built that snowman. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and she's thinking about, like, rocket ships and everything. I don't know why you're thinking about rocket ships when you're making a snowman, but, you know, you do you. She wants to skate on a pond with Ricky, which now that it's actually snowing, we might be able to skate on a pond because he wants to do that too. And then how are you doing? She's doing perfectly fine. Alrighty. Woohoo. Oh, I love this. This is, this is cute. I wish we could put it around front, though. I don't know if we could. I don't know if we actually could. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get a good picture here. There we go, that's good. Cool. All right, and then we'll just have like a little, uh, I guess, intimate family party for Ricky. I don't think we're gonna really invite over much of anybody. If, if anybody, like, we might invite over his family, obviously, because his mom and his dad and his sister would probably really like to, 
you know, be a part of his birthday and everything. And then they can meet their grandchild for the first time and meet, uh, meet Autumn. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> that'll be an interesting conversation, but I mean, they won't really be able to do much about it because Ricky will be an, an adult. It's not like they could just, you know, punish him or anything. He's already living by himself, but let's see. Can he make a snow angel? Yes, we're going to have him do that. And then Autumn, let's have you come in here and get the clean laundry. Okay. Oh God. She... She is feeling so sick, you guys. I am not living for this. <laughs> I am so not living for this. Oh, why? This is like so bittersweet too. It's supposed to be a happy fun day because he's having his birthday, but yet Autumn might be pregnant and I'm not, I'm not for it. I'm really, I'm really just not. So after she gets to the laundry, we're gonna have her come upstairs because she might be about ready to puke, to be honest. And then we're going to have Ricky go ahead and throw a party and we're going to have him throw a birthday party. Cool. At least he didn't go like face first or anything because <laughs> I've had Sims do that where they'll like face plant into the snow and just do it like a completely different way and then they get like a frosty face or something. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is going to be a birthday party. I feel like so many of my Sims have been having birthday parties because I just filmed a part for Ambitions and one of my Sims in there aged up as well. <laughs> so yeah, all right, let's go ahead and Let's see. Okay, so Randall, Kanisha, and Cody, they are most definitely going to be coming. And I think that's going to be it. Like, like I said, intimate family birthday. So, all right. He doesn't even really have that good of a relationship with his dad. Like his dad, when he was younger, he was like always really, really hard on him. Because like I said, his dad is like, um, what is he? He works for the government. I know that much. I think he was like the, the leader of the free world or something. So like he worked in the city hall and because he was always in like the public eye and he had to have like this perfect image, I guess his family also had to have a perfect image. And because of that, oh geez. Oh geez. Did she just get sick? Oh, she so did. Oh, Autumn, you're so pregnant. <laughs> You are so pregnant. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're going to have her use that. And yeah, but because of that whole thing, his dad was always really, really, really hard on him and his half-sister and even his own wife and just everything. So he doesn't have that good of a relationship with him. They're they're cordial, I guess you can say, but they, they're not like besties that hang out outside of the house, I guess you can say. So yeah, all right, so Rude needs a little bit more social. So let's get her to come out here and Autumn can spend a little bit more time with her. But in the meantime, I'm gonna buy a birthday cake really quickly so that we can have that all fine and out of the way. And then I also, where am I going right now? I need to get a, well, I need to bring out that uh, stereo from the inventory again because I placed it back in there. So let's put that right over here so that we can have them listen to some music and that should be all fine and dandy. Alrighty, so let's have you come over here. Let's give her some smoochies. Let's also talk to her a little bit and then we can pet her and rub her belly. And then I think we are also going to feed her a treat. And Ricky, in the meantime, I guess you can just come over. Actually, how is Ezra doing? Because I was going to have him just watch a little bit of TV, but I'm kind of wanting him to um, potty train Ezra because it's not too terrible, but I want her, since we're going to be having company over, I feel like we should get that kind of done and out of the way first so that she's not crapping her diaper while we're trying to have a party. So, yeah. All right. And then I think if we can swing it, if we can swing it before people start coming over, I think we should also try to have Autumn go in and tell Ricky that she has some speculations that she might be pregnant again. So ugh, that's yikes. This entire situation is just yikes. <laughs> like, I don't want to do this. And I feel like people should already be over here, but I feel like they live a a ways away so the, it might take them a little bit to get over here the party should be starting oh hey there's his mom okay so it looks like his mom is already here which is good 
Um, but yeah, the party should be starting here in like 20 minutes. And if his mom is the only one that shows up, that'll be fine. At least somebody will be here, but <laughs> yeah, we're going to come, we're going to come down over here. Oh, Hey, what did she bring? What? I've got to go. The party was nice. Dude, you literally just got here. You're not even going to stay for your son's birthday. What did she bring? Potato and truffle torte. Ooh, that sounds really good. She doesn't even want to be here. Like, why? Why don't you want to be here? The carpool for come for Ricky in like an hour. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not going to. Like, I'm sorry. But I wanted you to talk to him. Can I be friendly? We're going to ask about her day because I don't want her to leave. I will lock her in here if I have to. <laughs> Uh, the first guest has arrived and it's time to start the party. Okay, so let's turn this on. What? Are you joking? Are you joking? He's here too, but... <sighs> Will you call that a party? Whatever, I'm leaving. Screw you, dad. <laughs> like, seriously. And then, uh, Cody is here as well. Hopefully she doesn't decide to leave because it doesn't even seem like his parents want to be here. He brought over some stuffed turkey. Well, I mean, at least she brought food. <laughs> She's just totally leaving. Oh my gosh. That's so sad. His own parents don't even want to be here. Do you think that word through the grapevine kind of got got out that Ricky had a kid when he was a teen? Who the hell are you? Sky? I didn't invite you, but like, welcome. <laughs> okay, well, can we, um, like, do you think maybe... Cody totally like spilled the beans or something and said that Ricky had a kid with an with a girl when he was a teen and do you think his parents are like just so pissed off at him that they don't even want to be here for his birthday because I feel that that's the vibe that I'm getting right now I want her to like talk to her really fast um let's do a friendly introduction to his sister Oh, and she's like, she's like coming over to be with, to be with Ezra. How cute. But yeah, his parents don't even want to be here. Well, his dad kind of does. Uh, dance wildly together. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to come over and, you know, be friendly with him. Um, where is it? Friendly introduction. Let's do a friendly introduction, uh, introduction to our own dad. And what are you doing? Why are you yelling at her? Why are you yelling at her? I don't understand. You're going to make her leave. <laughs> Please don't do that. Uh, let's just let's just chat with her. Let's see if let's see if she wants to chat with us. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. <laughs> we're not gonna fight her. No, we're not gonna fight her. Uh, let's try and get to know her a little bit. And he just doesn't even want to talk to his own dad. Oh, oh my gosh. This is like, this is this is kind of upsetting right now. Like, can we just please? What are you doing? You're running around? Dude, go outside to run around. This house is too small for that. Uh, let's have her come over here and go to the bathroom so that she doesn't go in the house. All right, so he is, yeah, he is being, you know, tolerable with his dad. So let's just chat with him for a bit. Let's see if we can actually have a conversation with him. I have no idea who this girl is, but she's really pretty. I really, really like her hair. She is gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's come out here and do a friendly introduction to her. She just decided to crash the party, and I'm really glad that she did. She is really pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, stop talking to her. <laughs> stop talking to her, and I'm going to put this stuffed turkey into the refrigerator so that, so that it doesn't go bad. And I'm also gonna... I can't put that over here. So I guess that's just gonna have to stick stick to being right there. Alright, so let's have you um, be friendly, and you know what? We're gonna ask her career. And they are, I don't know what they're talking about. They're talking about like medicine and he's probably just asking him like, how have you been? Like, are you, are you at least doing okay? Like, he's also probably asking like who this girl is and what the, like where those noises are coming from and everything. I do personally think that uh, his sister told his parents and they're just kind of like waiting to see if Ricky says something like they don't want to bring it up unless Ricky brings it up. But yeah, that's just the feeling that I'm getting. But we're not going to wait any longer. <laughs> this is kind of turning into like an awkward party. We are going to have Ricky come over and blow out the candles and just have his birthday. So happy birthday, Ricky. 
Oh my gosh, this is exciting! What is this? Oh, they want to just like dance wildly together again. Wow, okay. Alrighty. There we go. Alright, so how's Rue doing? She's coming up to chew on her little toy over here. I'm gonna just, you know, pan out here because it is getting really, really loud. <laughs> Even with only like four, four or five people in the house, it's still really loud. How is Ezra? She's doing pretty good. She's gonna need a diaper change here in a little bit, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. Alright, come on, Ricky. Let's get you aged up, buddy. Oh my gosh, this is so loud. <laughs> All right, is he... Okay, so he's still having... Well, he's still having his birthday party. Okay, I was gonna say, please don't be glitched out. <laughs> please don't be glitched out. Okay, so due to his indifferent study habits, you'll not be able to choose a trait for Ricky. He has developed the discipline trait. That honestly is so fitting with literally what I was just talking about with him and his relationship with his dad. So he is disciplined, which is totally fine. At least it's not a bad trait. So there we go. He's looking he's looking all sorts of cute. <laughs> Just having his hands all over his hips and everything. How cute. Alright, let me try and get a decent-ish picture here. <laughs> It's probably not gonna be that great, but I just wanted I just wanted to get something here. Alright, there we go. Good enough. <laughs> Alrighty, so now let's see here. Let's see here. Let's have Autumn come over. And I wanted to try and have her give him a kiss or something. Uh just like as a congratulatory, like happy birthday. So I think Let's see here. So he is disciplined and let's see. He was into music, if I remember. So what should his lifetime wish even be? Physical perfection, le reach level 10 of the martial arts and athletic skill. I mean, we could probably do that. I've never played around with the martial arts skill that much. Uh, hit movie composer. No, I don't really. Well, I mean, I kind of see him doing that. He worked at the movie theater for a little bit there. Didn't actually go, but he worked there. <laughs> Um, you know what? This is something that I've never done either. Reach level 10 in the music career track. So, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to go with that one. So he is going to be working in the music career. So let's see. He's disciplined, perfectionist, virtuoso, athletic, and artistic. He doesn't, he's not really virtuoso or into music that much, but I mean, he is artistic. So, I mean, it kind of goes hand in hand, right? So yeah, that is what we are going to do for him. And all right, now everybody can have their cake if they want to. I don't know why that is still there. It's like, in case anybody's actually wondering, this little th thingy right here is called a one more slot, please, or one more spot, please. And it basically makes it to where, like, you can place items in spaces that you wouldn't normally place them. So, yeah, that's what that is. Because I know that I've been using them in my houses a lot recently, so that's just kind of what that is. Alright, so everybody can have their birthday cake. Rue, what's the matter? She's looking out the window. Uh, let's have her come over. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what we can have her do, to be honest with you. Um, please don't tell me that you're... Yeah, she's like, you should know how to throw an awesome party. To be honest, I kind of wanted to get Autumn to get to know her a little bit more. She just seems like she'd be the kind of person that Autumn would be friends with. So, yeah, that, that was like a goal to do but apparently it's not gonna happen so let's have you go ahead and grab a slice of cake oh she's just like she like see she didn't even want her to leave <laughs> that's what i'm taking that as she didn't want her to leave so she got mad but we're gonna place that over here what's wrong oh my gosh she's like reacting negatively to everything let's have you like eat from the bowl or something chew on your little chew toy and just you know forget the cake okay just forget the cake <laughs> It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so Ricky, how are you doing? He needs to come over. He didn't even get to spend any time with his family, really. That's a bummer, because everybody's, like, already leaving, and then his mom didn't even want to be here, so... I don't know. I don't know what to say, you guys, but everybody's leaving now, so I guess we're just gonna let them go. <laughs> it was kind of a crap party, I'm not gonna lie. I throw such crap parties in this game all the time. Like, it, it never fails all the time. Uh, let's have you come over and attack her with the claw. I'm obviously going to give Ricky a makeover probably after the part. I don't know if I'm going to be in inserting it into the video itself or uh, if Ricky doesn't fix his work performance soon, he will face disciplinary action. It's fine because he's going to be quitting anyway. <laughs> he's honestly going to be quitting anyway. 
Um, let's ignore the call. And, okay, so, oh my god, just stop, okay? Just, just stop. Why do you have two rabbits, by the way? I'm gonna sell one of these. Um, okay, so what do we need to do? Let me just take a moment to breathe. Let me see what I have to do. So, her social is pretty good. We need to get her to... Well, we're gonna have you potty train Ezra. We're also, oh my gosh, we're gonna also have you give Ezra a bath to kind of get her all cleaned up. Actually, you know what? We're gonna feed her first. So let's put Ezra into the high chair. Um, let's get you, what? No, we're not gonna dance with him. We're just not. <laughs> we are, however, going to ask him to leave because it is really late and we need to do stuff right now. Like we need to, would you stop getting so mad? Please, Autumn, just please. Uh, let's get you to give her some baby food. And then I guess, I guess Autumn could be the one to like get her all cleaned up and ready to go to bed or something. I don't know because Ricky really needs to go to bed, but I'm going to get him to uh, quit work. Be oh God. Oh no. Just, just no, please do not be attracted to him. <laughs> do not be attracted to him. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So does Ricky hold her? Yes. Yes, we do. Because we're going to be getting him a new job in the next part. So let's have you put away the leftover cake. I'm going to turn off the stereo here and then Rue, you can go ahead. Okay, so Ricky's party was a modest success. Not too bad. We're gonna have you go to sleep and then you really, really, really just need to go to bed, dude. Just go to bed. <laughs> and then Autumn, I'm going to... What are you doing? Do not come back into my house. Do not come back into my house. Why are you here? Why are you here? Go home. Like, go away. Leave. Like, I don't want you here, Ricky's dad. Randall, go away. I thought that I told you to do that anyways. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, I'm going to bump her her energy up just a bit because we need we need to do stuff. So let's have you pick her up. Have you come over and not empty that. Let's have you Okay, so I guess we can't do it just yet. Okay, so potty train Ezra give her a bath, and then put her into the crib. Alrighty, so now that we kind of got that all situated and ready to go, finally, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to wrap it up here. So like I said, in the next part, we're gonna be getting Ricky a job and all of that fun stuff. So we're probably gonna be getting him a job. I think we'd have to, let me see here, just really quick, cause I'm kind of curious. Um, I think we'd have to get him a job over in, wouldn't it be over here? Let me see. So join film career? No. So where would we have to get him a job at? Like, where would we have to send him? I think it might be the, this place all the way over here. The, yeah, join music career. So he's going to be working a long freaking way away. Oh my God. That's like an entire day's commute or something. <laughs> Like, I kind of, just because he's going to be working so far away, I kind of want to have them move again to somewhere closer, but I don't even know where we'd move them to because, like, the main living area is all the way over here. So, I don't know. We're going to have to figure something out, but... Alrighty, guys. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap it up here. So, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Please don't forget to go ahead and leave me your comments down below telling me what you thought. And also, hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy the video. And if you are new and you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more. And I will go ahead and talk to you guys in the very, very next video. Alright, bye guys.